Okay. Let's go grab me some Chipotle. Ch -ch 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 Chipotle. Be nice little veggie bowl for the day. Something nice and chill. I'm not gonna lie. James wants to go out tonight. I'm gonna let him down because I honestly don't want to go out. I honestly just want to chill. <laughs> See, this is why none of my friends like me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know my friends love me. I'm just kidding. But nah, nah, I'll just kick it with him. Oh, uh, no, yeah, no, he's working tomorrow, so we'll just chill tomorrow, too. Next time I come, I'll make sure that I'll, I'll, I'm going to go out and not be a, a sore loser or a stick in the mud, as people like to say. All right, so he's just about to get some food. And after that, I'm done. Hey, guess what, y'all? I was right. James is very mad and disappointed in me. Which he should be. Because sometimes I get a little bit nervous when I know I'm going to make people sad or mad or frustrated because of my lack of communication. But hey, I'm a human being and James has been my friend for years. I'm not saying he just tolerates it now or he just already expects it. The biggest bullshit ever met. <laughs> biggest bullshit ever met. One more time. Biggest bullshit ever met. Oh my lord. See, and he's already coming at me, man. But it's true though. This is literally what all my friends tell me. And it's very, it's very sad because it's the truth. Like I tell people one thing and then once the time gets closer and closer, I'm just saying, yeah. I think it's the nerves, man. I don't know. It's okay. Cause look, we're chilling right now. Just like being out here. Fresh air. Boy, James eating this chicken sandwich. Did you have the Popeyes one? Yeah, Popeyes are better. It's better. You, you like yeah. Popeyes is better. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's still pretty good though, right? Well, as far as chicken sandwich goes, yeah. Okay, right. Gets the job done. Yeah, I just got me some Chipotle. I mean, a little veggie bowl. Funny. Look at him watching his calories, man. That's what I'm talking about. Good friends. Who right are mindful. They calories. Because that's only going to make me want to be better. Because I do not be tracking my calories at all. And I know I need to be. My Chipotle. There's some black beans in there. And this queso. Some other good stuff. So I'm about to smash some of it. Damn, I should have got Chipotle now. Because I just realized I just spent the same amount of fucking money on burgers. Basically. <laughs> No worries, live and we learn. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Private property, no trespassing. Mm. Ah, this brings me back. Oh, you're right next to the trails. This is nice. Oh, wow. This brings me back. I literally will walk these trails all the time, walk these train tracks, everything. Oh, yes, yes, and we hit everything. Miss these walks, man. Miss the trails. So I'm, Mount Pleasant's always gonna have a small place in my heart, man. So really some delicacies over here. People don't appreciate nature and life. How often do you come out here? I run like every day. Oh, you run through here every day? Yeah, I run 10 miles usually. Dang, dude. Dude, my cat, dude, I was only running 10 miles. I got a thousand on the stair, probably not, and I'm working out when I go off the Jeez. So you don't have a Planet Fitness membership anymore? I do, I just want to fuck with it. <laughs> Damn. Beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on, hold on. So, what's up, mother? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Slim Jim, but you all can call me Jim. Jimmy B. Cool too. Now, uh, let me tell you a little bit about Eric. I've known Eric for years. I'd say three to four years, and he's become a great pal of mine. You know, I, if I ever get married to some dumb tramp. Vegas or something. I want Eric to be at my wedding. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna tell you where our friendship began. I believe it was three years ago. It was uh, February 17th, 2019. 18. 
Eric came to the casino, you know, I'd been there for months, maybe even a year at that point, and uh, he didn't know anybody, you know, he was shy, he was out of his element, I said, hey, come here, come here, buddy. Took him out of my wing. I used to have another buddy named Al, you know, we'll, then we'll save that for later, but uh, I took Eric under my wing. I said, hey, man, you're a partier now. We're gonna get fucked up after work, all right? So he would, you, you, you know, he'd be like, oh, 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 watch out. I'm like, no, man, let's go to the bar, get some baddies, get fucked up, we'll bring them back. Sam 14 South Oak, you already know. So, you know, we started getting fucked up, but Eric just, he just, he just couldn't keep up, you know? Cap, I was at the, the crib. Hangovers were too much. He said, I can't, man. You know, I, I, I says that Eric, I says, Hey, with that attitude, you ain't gonna get far in life, you know? You gotta, you gotta get through that diversity and push through. I think he meant adversity. <laughs> you know, you, you wanna have a good time. Well, there's consequences to having a good time. It's called hangover. I had them bitches every day at work, but I still showed up on time and did my job better than anyone in the f***ing department. I'll tell you that. You know, honestly, I'm just gonna ramble on because I'm bored. Eric's been taking a shit for 20 f minutes while I'm sitting in the car. So hopefully I'm not taking up too much camera space, but me and Eric, we used to, uh, we used to get paid at work, not to work. We, you could find us anywhere in that casino, but the place we're supposed to be working in, you know. Yeah, there's the break room, the, my, my little office. It was actually a closet that I turned into an office. You know what sucked about that? And I, I actually do want to talk about that. That was my spot, dude. I found this little hidden room, dude. And, Eventually, everyone caught on and everyone started chilling in there. Everyone, dude. So, I couldn't even hide in there anymore because everyone just knew, like, oh, we can't find anyone working. They're in, the, they're in James's office. Man, that shit pissed me off when everyone started chilling in there. You, you know, and the thing about Eric, he always knew, like, don't talk to James if he doesn't want to talk. You know, if I was hungover, I kind of look at him. He's like, hey, what's up, bro? But not much, dude. And he knew, he knew, like, hey, James is hungover. I'm gonna let him be. My, he's like, ah, right, bro, I'll get, get at me when you when you feel like bullshit. And I said, all right, man, I respect that. But yeah, we have a squad in that department. Oh, shit. Yeah. He's got much chilling, chilling. You know me, I've been a big old party since you met me. <laughs> That's true, very, very true. Oh, shit, what up? <laughs> what up, my boy in the cut? In the cut, in the cut. Chilling. He about to go out tonight. I disappointed him because I told him, I'm like, look, I think I'm about to stay in. <laughs> but look, I'm changing my ways. Look at his setup though. Does he have such a great setup? Yeah, but for the rest of the night, I'm chilling though. I'm, I'm getting caught up on my programs. I'm actually gonna eat my food, go on a nice walk, just be outdoors a little bit. Be outdoors, come back in, do a little bit of work with the programs, and go to sleep. And that's what I'm doing. And it's been so relaxing, taking a walk with my friends, seeing my old peoples from the casino, because that's where I used to work. I used to work there for like, honestly, in total, going on two years. Because I, I was a line server at first. Like I said, I was a line server. Then I was a banquet server. Banquet server, way, 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 way better. That's where I met all these great people. So I met my boy James in the back. He getting ready to go out. He's going to the bird tonight. Yeah. Thanks for watching this vlog, man. Y'all know I love y'all. And Jake made me so happy. When I seen Jake today at the casino, of course, we talked a little bit. We chopped it up. And he was like, Eric, man, when's the next video coming out? We're waiting. That made me feel so good. Like, wow, people are actually like watching my vids and like they like the content and they want more. That, that makes me feel really good. And that's giving me, giving me so much motivation just to really lock in and get on it with my editing and just getting on top and on track with everything. So y'all about to be seeing a lot from me. So thanks again for thanks again for checking in and I'm out